Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Welcome back. Where have you been? It's been quite a while since I've been out, so got down the range, checked the zero, checked my shooting before I go out on a new permission. So this is a dairy farm. What I want to do is I'm going to do a couple of short videos throughout, so I'm kind of bringing you along on the shoot a little bit, something a little bit different. Um, it's quite hard to chat when you're on the shoot at night because you've got to keep quiet, obviously for the rats, and so you don't disrupt neighbours and the farmers, etc. as well. But um, we'll see how it goes anyway. So this is um, there's a couple of different parts of the video. This is the first part. Um, this was a few days ago when I first went up there. And we're in the grain store here. All the rats seem to be hiding under the pallets. And on the right hand side there's a lot of grain and wheat. Which is actually spilling down under the pallets. So it's quite difficult to get to them because they're not wanting to come out. Duff that shot. But... Not every shot's perfect, so I'll try and leave them in. And he stays under there and taunts me pretty much for the rest of the night, I think. He's made sticks his head forward from underneath to see what's going on. But he's not stupid, he's staying right back under there. Not sure if this is the same chap or not. But he sticks his head out a little bit too far, gets a little bit too brave, and gets a pellet in it. He kicks back underneath. You can hear the tail flashing on the underside of that pallet. Now this guy, I'm not sure what he's playing at. He's coming right the way out. Climbing all up this pile of wheat. What on earth for, I don't know. But I'm not going to take a shot on him unless I can get an outright kill. Because I don't want him to bleed all over that wheat. But unfortunately, I'm a little bit too late. He disappears. Very, very frustrating. Just scanning around there. Seems how he's disappeared. Oh, oh, he's his friend. I'm going for another body shot here. The reason being, I'm trying polymags here. And that's just absolutely destroyed him. Knocked him straight down. Very happy with that. Back under the pallets. And, oh, who put that machine there? I wonder if he's drunk. Uh, just hanging around there. Having a quick look. He's hiding behind the wheel there, so I'll ping that just to make sure I'm on target and I'm in range. Waiting for him to come out. He starts to make his way out, but he starts to make his way he's sorry, he starts to make his way very quickly. So I'm kind of blowing him kisses to get him to slow down because I don't want him to get too close to mess up the range that I've got. I've got a nice range there, 24, 25, 26 yards. Just bang on my zero. Here he goes. Shoo, go, 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 go. Bang. It's another upper body shot. There's a bit of kicking and thrashing there, but he does expire very quickly. And that's him out. Just up at the farm now. Um, just setting up. It's now 25 past 8. There's a couple of barns on my right hand side here, or behind me, and then just on the other side of that is a grain store that I'm going to be shooting to start with anyway. There's also some cattle feeders over that side, so I'm going to alternate between the grain store and the cattle feeders hopefully tonight. I'm talking quietly because the cattle are about and the farmers are just about to put them out in the field. So, <laughs> So I'm going to get set up, got the rifle, just about ready to go, and if you can hear me over the cows, we'll be out there shooting shortly. See you soon. Back inside the same grain store, as I was in a few days ago, knock him down with a headshot. Now, you see there's a lot more grain and a lot more wheat spilled out across the area now, so it's making it now impossible to get to the underside of those pallets. 
So this is just down the back of where the cattle are eating that cake I mentioned earlier on. I actually get two shots on the mats there. You can see the two of them here. And the second shot here. Could have done with a bit more IR in hindsight, but I could see perfect KO on the scope. I'll bear that in mind for next time round. So there's another two rats there. And they're hiding there, one dies underneath the tyre. There we go. We're now about an hour and a quarter into the shoot. Um, it's fairly quiet. Got two rats so far. Got one from, one from the grain store. Got a second one from at the back of where the cattle feed. So there's a small area where they feed some, uh, they feed and they get some cake from the farmer. Not obviously chocolate cake, but animal feed cake. And the rats seem to like that as well. So they've been helping themselves to that. What I've been doing this evening, I spent most of the night on these. You're not able to see them very well there, but this is the Night Fox 100V Night Sight Spotter. Um, I got it on Amazon for about 110 quid, I think it was, and I've got to say it is absolutely fantastic bit of kit. So instead of spending most of the night looking through the scope and panning around, you can just hold this up, scan around, nice wide field of view, uh, default of three times magnification with two times digital zoom, and it takes so much less time and it is so much easier to pan around in the dark looking for the little beady eyes of rats once you spot them straight on the rifle straight down put the rat down so i'm going to continue the shoot i'm not going to come back and record anything else now it's getting quite late and i don't want to disrupt the farmer or the farmer's dog so i'll crack on and i'll wrap the video up in, in probably a couple of hours now, the Night Fox 100V doesn't have a record facility, but for the price, I couldn't really justify buying one to record because the ATN scope that I used does all the recording that I need. I just really needed a spotter. So what I did was I just chucked my mobile phone on the back here. That's why it looks like you're looking down the tunnel. This is on the first level illumination on infrared, but I wanted to give you an idea of what I see through the scope. Now, unfortunately, this doesn't actually do it justice. It is a lot sharper and a lot clearer in real life, but you can see nice wide angle to look through, nice and clear, it goes up to level 7 on the infrared, so this is level 3 and this is looking about 50 yards across the farmyard. It's a fantastic bit of kit, really pleased with it. So I'll be using that for future shoots, that means that I don't have to be panning around like this when I'm shooting. I can keep the rifle down, save the battery on the IR illuminator, save the battery on the scope and it obviously it's a lot safer because I haven't got the rifle pointing around in the air. While I was looking around with the spotter I found something sitting on this machinery. So so frustrating. You probably hear me cursing under my breath. He's sitting on this machine here for ages and he just wasn't shifting. I kept coming back and coming back. I mean I've cut the video here so you're not waiting around. I've left this in just purely to show you sometimes the patience you've got to have when you're using air rifles and the frustration that you sometimes have. So for example here after about 15-20 minutes he jumps down boom gone. <laughs> you kidding me right? <laughs> He's just disappeared in a flash. Have a look on the wheat pile to the right he's not showing his face. He's underneath there, filling his face. So as I said, the patience you've got to have sometimes when you're shooting. Put the rifle down, picked up the spotter again, short time later, and then he bolted back out just as quick and back up under that machinery. I'm not going to take a shot while he's on there. I'm fairly confident that I would hit him, but if I miss, I'm going to damage something. And he's sitting there, look at me, take your best shot. Take your best shot. I'm not going to take the risk because there's over penetration or I could hit something and damage machinery. He'll wait for another day. Right, all finished for the evening. Just in the car right ahead of home. That's three rats shot. One disappeared off down his hole. That's going to bleed out quite quickly. The other two were recovered and put on the mucking for the farmer. Those three plus four from a few nights ago. Seven altogether from his permission. So hopefully he's happy with that. I certainly am. Especially as they were all in and around the grain store eating the farmer's grain and animal feed undoing all his hard work so 
see how it goes over the winter. If I get back up there, I reckon there's going to be quite a lot coming in from the fields for that free feed. I want to do it a little bit differently this evening, as I said, try and bring you along on the shoot because I haven't posted anything for a few months. Hopefully that went okay. Let me know what you think. Stick a comment below. Hit like if you enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for coming along. Four shot from a previous night, three from last night, two of them recovered and put on the muck heap. Very happy with that. So I'm hoping to get back and get some more bagged up soon. This is the night fox I've been using. A few short clips. I'm going to do a separate video on this, but I thought you might be interested to see what I was using last night. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated. Please get involved as well by leaving a comment. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos.